Hey there everyone, Grey hey here. Welcome back. It's me and Jessica playing Trials of Mana. As usual, such an awesome game. We gotta carry on with it. Gotta make sure it's only half an hour long for this part though. Because, you know, we got a couple of bits we gotta do in about half an hour. And then, yeah, we'll be right back and cracking right on again. Good fun. Couldn't stay away from this game for too long if I tried. But yeah, so here we go. Chilling. We've gotta go off to the... What's it called? Fiery Gorge, I think? I think so, yeah. Something like that. And I'm just finishing off my drink. Cocoa. <laughs> my protein cocoa, that's right, man. Trying to get my swole on, as it were. It's really nice. Well, not quite. It's literally just whey protein powder, you know, with a bit of milk and a shitload of boiling water heated up. It's really nice, actually. Don't fucking do it on a, on a hob, alright? Trust me, don't. The protein powder will just burn on the bottom. And all the rest of it will barely even be lukewarm. It was weird. Mm -hmm. But yeah, trying to take my health more seriously, you know. Having everyone around me having health issues and like, you know, I'm the one that doesn't other than Tinnitus, which have got pretty damn under control. Just, yeah, I want to make sure that I don't lose that as I get very, older and I'm very, turning... Very, very lacking. Exactly, and I'm turning 30 next year, so I want to make sure that I keep it into old age, you know. So like, yeah, I'm trying to take my health more seriously, trying to deal with a few things, because like... When I first started my YouTube channel, I was going to start doing videos on obesity as well, because that's an interesting subject. And being a guy who's lost quite a fucking large chunk of weight through non-conventional means, I felt like that warranted some discussion, and that's the main area that I got into studying health with, you know. Any of my uh, Tinnitus subscribers, you'll know me for those, but obesity and studying all of that jazz was how I got such a baseline understanding of the body to actually be able to get my fucking ringing to improve. But yeah, I stopped doing videos on it because, plain and simply, I was struggling to get the emotional stuff under wraps enough to get the rest of it to come off. You know, just felt hypocritical to do videos on it like that. So recently, because I got my life sorted and stable in other ways, I'm giving it another go. Hence, plenty of protein. Trying to get my fucking blood sugar stable, improve my health. Trust me, it's good for more than just, like, weight loss or any shit like that. But yeah, what just tripping out. What was that? What happened to Angela? Angela, oh, mate, they both got fucked up. I gotta bring them back, hold on. Because if they get me, we're fucked. Go on, Kevin. There we go. Good boy, Kevin. But yeah, so try and take it all seriously. Hence, whey protein as a cocoa. It's trippy, man. Very trippy. It's amazing how bad it isn't. It's actually quite nice. I like it, and yeah. for me to like something like that, yeah, it's, it's a, a big, big deal. deal. <laughs> I know, right? You like nothing. You like rice, you know. She's Spanish, she <laughs> likes traditional Spanish dishes, you know, like a fucking paella. Which is rabbit, rice, veggies, and snails and shit. Yeah. Except you don't like the rabbit, you don't like the snails, and you don't even eat the chicken. So like, yeah, you are picky. You are incredibly picky. <laughs> and I pick on you because of it, I have to. There needs to be some balance in the world. Exactly. <laughs> I do love- I love the fact that you don't eat those bits though, because it means I do whenever you cook them. There's just shitloads exactly. of it on the plate. See, All the best I'm bits. I'm nice, I give you more. You just eat the rice, I'll handle the rest, don't worry. <laughs> it's good having a Spanish room, mate. Mate, they managed to freeze him in midair. Are you not, like, heavy weighing whatever you do as Stone Kevin? Apparently not. Good for you. Ah, shit. Uh -oh. Beam him up! There we go. That was hard. That's depressing getting killed one hit from the finish line. Yeah, well, what can you do? Right, just checking my map. I found five of seven boxes. There's millions of the fuckers left. How did I miss the fucking thing up there? I'm gonna go have a quick look, alright? I gotta explore everything while I'm here. And yeah, don't mind Jessica sat back there chilling in the background. She'll be back with us as soon as she's ready. I'm actually here. Yeah, you just chilled. You're enjoying laying down in the chair. You were moaning about chairs last time, so it seems fitting. You know, but you know, you gotta sit up straight, obviously. I run such a tight professional ship with my channel, you know. It's at like, Jesus, point, Jess. At some point, I will buy a comfy chair. Yeah, you're making me look bad, Jess. Come on now. Why? My own channel, like, God. Sit up straight, you know. Pay attention. I can't sit straight. Oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> Even if I tried, I can't. <laughs> Even if I like got a rack and stretched you out, you wouldn't be able to. Just be like, nope, not happening. My, my back doesn't let me and my neck doesn't let me, so... Oh. <sighs> Which brings me back to point A, just trying to look after my own health, man. Notice me sat up, no chair in sight. 
Oh yeah. I have scoliosis. Yeah, exactly. Choice of her. Oh, don't bang on about it. God, don't want to hear your life story now. Let's go back to talking about my protein cocoa. <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> Nobody gives that. a flying fuck. <laughs> Nor should they. Just, I found it interesting. That was my day. No oh, one shit. gives a damn about your cocoa. That's what I like about the internet, especially having a fairly, like, you know. What's the best way to describe it? Because uh, I don't want to sound self-depreciating, but I do not have the biggest YouTube channel, you know what I mean? So I'd say what I fucking like, because no one's going to hear it. It's great. It's a very liberating feeling to be able to speak on camera almost publicly. And no, no one will hear you. It's a wonderful feeling. <laughs> yeah. And get paid, like, pennies to do so. Ooh, there's an item up there. Hey, at least you get, even if it's pennies, at least you get paid something. I know, right? I'm as blown I, away by that as you well, are. I, I don't get paid for saying shit. I haven't actually, like, you know, taken any money from it yet. And shit, is there one up there? Did we one, go one. that way? Another fucking path off into the distance. I haven't been that way. I'll remember that for later. Right, okay, for the time being, we've got most things. So we're heading off. Here we go. Oh, man, they fucking respawned. I've got to get through them. Oh no, there we go. Perfect. No need to worry. Oh god! It's big breasted girl! You know, the evil one. That's how you can tell. There's a couple of dead giveaways there. Oh dear. There we go. Now. Oh, we're getting a boss fight. Are we fighting Bill and Ben, the fucking flower pot men again? Hello. It's Jessica! Mm hmm. She's sad, like it's me. It's game Jessica. I know, it's a sad day for both in game and out of game Jessica. <gasps> I lifted your curse. Now that was brutal. Your usefulness. Jesus. Ben. Wasn't quite Outlast 2, but fucking hell. This is your that was hardcore. Chance. She did not hold back. She That's walloped her proper. Stop. Why? Oh yeah, that worked. Just, oh, hold it now. Us. Good, Duran. We well done. That will stop him. Like last time. This dark power that Belladonna has given us. Have you grown breasts? Let's get it done, Ben. <laughs> On it. Uh oh. And Belladonna, uh, the name of the drug they give you to um, in recaps. Drug. Huh? Bill and Ben. Belladonna. Ben, uh, I don't know. I got no it's, idea about um, your freaky Spanish drugs. Again, huh? I'm sure it's a drug they give you in rehab. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't know, man. I've never been to rehab. I'm pretty sure it is. Sounds like fun. Is it nice? I don't know. Not that like you would know. I haven't been in I'm giving the wrong I don't need to be in Yeah, I'm giving the wrong <laughs> implication there with that question. <laughs> it's like, go on, Jess, tell us about your imaginary drug addiction, you know? Engage us all with that rousing story. Just make one up. I don't particularly care. And she missed the lot. That sucks. Connor, Kevin, fuck him up. Abyssal Slice. It's got to be better than that phenomenal fist you keep kicking people with. It's impressive, that is. Fuck yeah. Fuck him up, Kevin. Yeah. Falling asleep already, Jess. That didn't yes. take long. as a new record. <laughs> oh, I love it. I still hit him, even though he's miles away. I just love this game. So Has anyone seen Robin Hood Men in Tights? You know that bit where the blind butler is fighting that fucking pillar? That's exactly what that just looked like. Uh oh, Kevin's getting beaten up. Where's my fucking candies at? Oh god damn it, Angela. I was so busy focusing on the boy, I didn't realize she was sneaking off to die quietly in the corner. Yeah. Why do I get the feeling I could kill this guy a lot easier myself? knock them out and get on with the job, you know? Oh, I've got to organize this menu a bit better. And yeah, me healing them keeps getting me fucking hit. I'm tired of this shit. You guys pull your own way. I'm going to let you fucking die. There we go. Oh, here we go. Pulling out the weird fucking pop men bullshit. I'm over here. No, he's over there. Oh dear. Fuck off, Angela. If you can't stay alive, you don't deserve to stay alive. Survival of the fittest up in here. And Kevin. Obviously. 
There's two of these fuckers to fight though. Until I get one of them down, or close to down, it's gonna be a bit tricky. Oh, booyah. Don't mind if I do. Take this one half of the pot, men. Uh, I love how she's just face planted the floor. Go on, Kevin. Booyah, dodge that just in fucking time. Alright, Kevin, do something cool. Now. More abyssal slices. I love it. Ooh, that's a good kick in the bollocks, that one. Ow. The controller you around at the wrong fucking time, I see. Dodge, Kevin! Take my own advice. Alright, eat them again. Heal myself. I really should give her healing abilities, that would make sense. Or well, one of us. Yeah, she's dead again, isn't she? May, I'm leaving her dead. She's just not helpful. She can't hold her own weight, I ain't keeping her alive. Kevin, he's storing up energy and he'll do a shitload of damage. Her special attack doesn't even fucking hit the bastards. Anyone that isn't like a statue, it doesn't hit, so you know. You can see why I've left her out cold. Oh nice. No, Kevin, stop! You gotta get the other one. Please aim for the right one. There we go. God damn it, Kevin. Alright, there we go. Go kill this guy really fucking fast. Here we go. Hopefully we can manage it. Shit, fucking pummel him. There we go. No problem. Too fucking easy. What are you doing up enjoying the celebration with us? <laughs> she was out fucking dead for the entire fucking fight. Why is she getting any XP? I ain't sharing. Take it back, game. I demand that you do. Uh, Where's Jessica? No wonder he's so angry. Oh, Jessica got bitch slapped like a, well, like a bitch, you know? I'm sure she wasn't, but that's what she got bitch slapped like. And now she just vanished. Doing here anyway? What happened to your voice, Sarah? The too? He could be. Oh, she could be. Sorry. Here we go. Alright, we saving. We good. Now. The too? Oh, God, don't do it. Every time I, like, accidentally right. cut her off, she just carries on. Don't let her get away. You done? Good. Let's get a fucking move on. Right, so... So you don't save Jessica? I'm so confused what's going on. She got bitch slapped and teleported away. What was I meant to do? Fair enough. You know, I'm sure there was two sides to that story, you know? I'm sure she had it coming. Maybe. She could have done. We don't know game Jessica. Fair enough. Yeah, all we've seen so far is her in prison. For some reason the big breasted chick didn't like her. I don't know why. Whatever her reasons. Oh, we in Fireland. Mate, can we put that shit out? We in Fireland. No, that didn't work. Corn and Dean, come on out. Oh, they're just too strong. Well, that's too bad then, isn't it? And yeah, we in Fireland. It looks cool, doesn't it? I like it. Yeah, me too. Fuck yeah. All right, not a problem. Oh man, we are doing pretty good with our levels. I gotta say. Captain Duck. Is it a Dizzy Duck? I'm gonna make him a fucking Dizzy Duck in a minute. Beat the shit out of him till he can't stand up. It's good fun, this game. Good moral lessons for kids. If you see something different from you, beat the crap out of it. Real moral stuff. Somehow it seemed cuter in 16-bit. Or was it 32? I can't remember. Take that tomato, man. Gonna grind you up for chutney, which I have tried today and it was delicious. Tomato chutney, man, that was good shit. Oh, here we go. Mm hmm. We're good. Fuck the rest of them. I don't care if they make it. Yeah, an evil ninja. 
Ah, oh, it's a shame we didn't bump into one of those really good, lovely ninjas that don't go around assassinating people. <laughs> Who ever heard of an evil ninja before? What a crazy concept. Oh, shit. Got both, man. Captain That's Duck! Captain Duck. He's not just a duck, he's Captain Duck. All three of them, apparently. He can't all be Captain. Or is it two? I don't know. Still, you can't both be Captain. I guess they'll argue that out amongst themselves. Or maybe I made it a lot easier for them now that I killed one of them, you know? Just there's no question who's in charge now. Neither of them, they both suck. No, I'm not resurrecting Angela, she sucks. Poor Angela. Yeah, she sucks. If she didn't suck, I'd spend more time bringing her back. As it is, I don't really care for her, so there we go. Chocolate! Yeah, ain't it good? Boom! She just snuck up on him. Uh-oh. Man, they just ripping off Bill and Ben. Poor Bill and Ben, who we slaughtered mercilessly. They wouldn't be happy to know that their image is being ripped off by a really shit evil ninja. Like, you're chaotic good at best, mate. Here we go. Where now? Ooh. Ooh! Hell yeah. One, five, one candy. What is a candy doing out here and how come it's not melting in the magma? Like, I don't care if it's not actually in contact with the magma. It's close enough. It should be incinerated by now. What happened to her? <gasps> little cactus. How did I miss what? you? He's oh, over there. Yeah. My little flower style friend. Here we go. Do I get my EXP thingy yet? Nope. One more. One more for an occasional two times boost to my EXP. What is not like about that? I've said it before. As long as it works every time I have a boss fight, I'll be ecstatic. The rest of the time I can go fuck itself. I bet you it never happens as well. Just like, you know, this is gonna be like Dragon Quest thieving level fucking odds. It's like, oh yeah, learn this ability, you can steal all the items you need. Yeah, if you play for a million fucking hours. It really did not work out well in that game, stealing. It sucked so bad. What's she still getting the XP for? She's dead! I'm not bringing her back! Stop rewarding her ineptitude, game! Eh. They all got shields, man. Eh, nah, 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 nah. I was hoping to get the duck. Oh, Kevin. What are you like? Boom. <clears throat> oh, got to heal myself. Don't want me dying now, do we? There we go. There we go. Well, that poor duck. Hearing him making Donald inspired noises as I struck him down really was quite. It was a tearjerker. But we got through it. Uh -oh. Stay out of the way, Kevin! God damn it, boy. That boy ain't right. Angela nearly dead again. Better, Ella. Fuck it. Gonna need it for this fight. There's five of the fuckers. There we go. Here we are. Wish those fuckers would learn to dodge. I had to. There you go, Kevin. Good boy. Have some candy. You'll grow up big and strong. Must be highly nutritious candy. Weird medieval shit. Before all the soil got nuked with modern farming methods and jazz like that, what do you reckon? Probably. Oh fuck. Man, we're getting beasted. Good luck, Groovy Gang. God, we're using a lot. Alright, let me get that prick. There we go, you're down. Good. Take out the evil ninjas or not. They keep jumping out my way. Pissing me off. Ooh. Chocolate, please. I can't believe I'm finally at the point where it's worth using it. 
You're dead, dude. Deal with it. Just accept it. It will go a lot easier for you. And yeah, that sucks, man. Even when the party members are dead. I mean, I suppose it's meant to be useful. But I just think it takes the piss. Because like, I will never be able to catch up to the other party members now. Ever. That sucks. I'm just going to be one level behind for the entire fucking game. Oh, it's humiliating. It's just not right. I live there. with the shame. There, there, man, I'm having a crisis here. Need more <laughs> than a there, there. <laughs> Whatever. We got a silver angel. Oh, it's not even a golden angel. How depressing. Oh, here we go. She's getting bitch slapped again. And did I get everything? I got two boxes of nine. Jesus. There is a lot more to this level than meets the eye. Conan Duran, save her. Stop. That'll do it. Well done. Our work here is done. I believe you do it as well. God, he's got one-liners for dialogue now. Not even funny ones. Arnold Schwarzenegger had better one-liners than you, man. There are more of you. Shocking. Didn't take much to scare her off. Maybe the stop and no was enough. Bless. One dart to the arm. She look? If you can get you there and pop one of them, lady. She's unconscious. Be grateful. But we can't leave her in this weakened state for long. Belladonna cursed her. No! Something Curses! To break the curse, but Jessica's been wearing the choker of death. Story of my life, I'm close to The choker of death. That's such an emo thing for her to wear. I think I think it's a Jessica thing. Every Jessica's Must curse. Be, man. She's wearing a choker of death. Like, can you blame it? Like, that just implies curse. Has that been a like a fashion choice or what? I'll take her back to the Because if it was, she deserves what she's getting. She deserved that bitch slap, I dare say. Maybe that's what Belladonna was doing. She's like, man, you have some dumb clothing choices. Like, the choker of death? Really? Bam. Not in my house. Maybe that was the approach there. You don't know. It could have been a bitch slap of uh, tough love, you know? Oh, are we fighting a boss? Sounds like we are. We might be. Ha 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 ha! This is the pure energy the manor stones hold within. Do we get another generic laugh for it? I the girl's curse, so I might sacrifice her life to break the manor stone seal and bring us closer to the sanctuary. But you foiled that plan. I did with my stop and no, and that one lousy dart that dude threw. Thank you for oh, there we go then. Providing me an alternative. We are one step closer to the sanctuary. Whore of a Tuke! Yeah, yeah. Go on. Sling your hook. So the mana stone is open anyway. I guess that's nice. For some. For his dark majesty at least. At least someone is having a good day as a result of this. Definitely not Bill and Ben though. Oh, no. They just feel right walked she over. The energy from the stone. Now we know that Belladon is trying to open the portal. Just like the Altanans. And just like us as well. Everyone is after the sword. I get the feeling we're being a bit hypocritical. Be like, I don't feel like the, the good guy at this point. Falls into evil hands. Mana tree will die. Mana power will disappear. Then the Benavidons will be released. Which would be a shame. We cannot let that happen. We have to find the elementals and open the portal before the enemy does. Mm-hmm. We need Yep, we're definitely the only ones in the right. That's how the world works. We're the good guys, they're the bad guys. It's nice and simple. And we get ourselves another funny voiced friend for our trouble. There it is. I knew he was going to fuck it up sooner or later. I was thinking, you know what? He actually sounds surprisingly normal and level-headed. And then he pulls that shit. It's like, man, you did not let me down, boy. Here we go again. Yeah, you foiled my evil plan. Yeah, there we go then. All right. So Salamander's weird screams of semi-joy have joined us again. Yeah. We'll go somewhere else. And he'll tell me in a minute. I just want to see if I'm ready to level up yet. I think we got to be level 32, don't we? Switch class. Ooh. I do not have the experience for that. 
Whatever. And no, apparently Duran doesn't want to tell us what's going on. That's fine. We don't need to know. It would probably just be that go. Looks really cool, though. It does look pretty cool. Nice larvary setting, you know, perfect for killing Terminators with, so you know. There goes my anxiety over that problem. If they did send a Terminator back in time to try to kill Duran before he saves the world, or destroys it, we don't really know. You know? Because I don't feel like the good guy, I'm just saying. But yeah, we'll be well prepped for that eventuality, which is a wonderful relief to have. So, thanks very much for joining us, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. We will leave it there for now. Me and Jessica got to go for a minute or two, and then we'll be right back. I really thought I could jump in for a minute. I was really expecting to end the part the best way possible, just like... <laughs> And down he goes. But alas, no. Maybe we'll get lucky and be able to, you know, suicide him in the next one. We'll see. Cheers for joining us, Jess. Pleasure as always. And we'll see you guys in the next part. See Catch you, you soon. Bye. Bye.